Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. A wildfire broke out Wednesday afternoon in between Vernon and Kamloops along Highway 97 near Monty Lake. The fire, known as the Martin Mountain Fire, has destroyed at least one home, and officials say others have been impacted. The ex exact number of homes and the extent of the damage is unknown at this time. As of Friday, the fire was 150 hectares in size and 40% contained. While an official cause of the fire has not yet been determined, some have speculated a discarded cigarette was to blame due to the start of the fire's vicinity to the highway. In other fire news, the RCMP announced Wednesday the wildfire that destroyed eight homes and one garage in the Okanagan Centre on July 15th was a deliberate act of arson. Corporal Dan Moskaluk wouldn't say what led investigators to the conclusion that it was not simply a careless act. Uh, so we would like to speak to this one group of adults who were recreating uh, in the area the day of the fire. On Friday, former BC Premier Christy Clark announced her resignation as BC Liberal Party leader and MLA of the Kelowna West Riding. Her resignation will come into effect as of August 4th. The BC Liberal Party has been meeting in Penticton this week, and interim leader Rich Coleman spoke to the media about Clark's resignation on Friday. Uh, it's a tough day for our family, our BC Liberal family. We think the world of her, and we were very disappointed this morning when she let us know of that decision. The Jonathan Bacon murder trial was back up and running this week, after a two-week break, with a former friend of Michael Jones, one of the accused, testifying. Witness A, whose identity is protected under a publication ban, told the court that following the August 2011 shooting, Jones told him he had burned his dark green Ford Explorer, the same type of vehicle that was used by the shooters, and later found torched in Lake Country. Witness A, who's incarcerated on a separate matter, said he and Jones spent years robbing marijuana grow ops together and trafficking drugs prior to 2011. After a hectic spring, Okanagan Lake is almost back to normal. The lake is expected to reach full pool by this weekend, a long time coming after hitting a high of 343.25 meters above sea level in the first week of June. Full pool is 342.48 meters above sea level. Over the past month, crews have been removing sandbags and bladder dams, and large debris has been scooped up from the lake. Some parks remain closed while repairs are being made. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Kelowna, Penticton, and Vernon. Pick the edition you want to read in the top left corner of the yellow masthead.